My name is Ebenezer Amwako Entry, and you are so welcome to this YouTube channel. On this YouTube channel, you are going to get videos that will set you up in your work with God and also with your prayer life. On this channel, you upload videos consistently to make sure that believers are guided to pray and pray and pray. If you are new to this YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel so that when we upload new videos, you can have access to them. And also, if you don't understand anything, kindly send us a message and we will get back to you. Also, make sure that this video you are about to watch, you will like the video, try and comment on it. And when you are blessed by the video, make sure that you share it to someone. Thank you. And one of the biggest errors, let me end here, one of the biggest errors that Moses committed in that time was the moment God called Moses. He chose his son Joshua to follow him. And that was a good decision. Every genuine man of God who is walking in the light of God will always push his sons to follow him and his daughters to follow him. Sometimes when I'm pushing people, they don't get it. When I'm pushing them through hours of prayer, they don't get it. When I'm pushing them through discipline, they don't get it. But there should be a generation like Joshua who saw the food and the parties of the 70 but decided to follow Moses. Then the Bible says, so Moses arose with his assistant Joshua and Moses went up to the mountain of God. And he said unto the elders, wait here for us until we come back to you. Indeed, Aaron and her are with you. If any man has any difficulty, let him go to them. That was the error. If anyone has difficulty, let him go to Aaron or her. This man is a weak leader. The mistakes we are committing in church today giving positions to wrong people making people trust weak links he said when you have any difficulty let them go go to Aaron and then after some few days the difficulty arises and when you read Exodus chapter 32 the Bible said and the people gathered unto Aaron and said make us a God this is a generation that chooses leaders without the consent of God God never told Moses that let the people trust Aaron. He just said, come. Leave them alone. But Moses calls all of them and says, in my absence, Aaron is in place. But what he didn't know that Aaron was as weak as the devil himself. Then when the people got weary, they gathered around Aaron. When the pressure started mounting up, make us a God. And Aaron didn't hesitate. No wonder there are still leaders in churches that members will come and instead of them to encourage them and build them up, they support members to commit errors. And then they come in and Aaron said, give me your earrings. Even to the, the earrings of your sons, bring them. And the Bible said he made a cow for them. And he declared in their presence that all ye Israel, this is the God that delivered you from Egypt. What a weak leader. Entertaining people as they wish. Satisfying the, the desires and the pleasures of the people. We just want a God and then suddenly he rises up. I will make you one. Hey, may God raise mighty leaders and giants. People who will look into the eyes of people and say that you want me to teach this but I will never teach you. You want me to confirm this weakness but I will never confirm it. Aaron said, oh, okay, if this is what you want, I'll do it for you. He builds the cow for them. And the Bible said the next thing is that he declared a feast for them. This is how they should have known Satan has invaded. The Bible said the people drank, ate, and played. They played. Old men and women playing. Young men and women playing. The Bible said, and they played. This is the sign of the spirit and the gate of hell. And Moses steps in comes back from the mountain out of anger stands in the gate and say who is for the lord now the real leader has come in again who is of god that was what aaron should have done that i will not follow the desires of your pleasures i will not follow i know one god and then everyone must honor that god i pray that the time is coming that the body of christ will receive leaders who will stand strong and not to entertain the people and you know what? Sometimes I realize that at that point, 
Aaron was at the mercy of the people. So I, I understand him. He stood in a place where he knew he had no fellowship with God. He knew he was not like Moses. So at that point, if the people decide to kill me, they've killed me in vain. So let me do what they have want for them. And many of us at, a, at this point in our lives are at the mercy of some people. The reason why many pastors can't stand for the truth and preach the truth is that they are at the mercy of some of the members. They are at the mercy of a certain little girl they slept with. They are at the mercy of somebody they went to do someone with. They are at the mercy of an associate pastor they arranged prophecies with. They are the mercy of people that, that they do bad and shady things with. So at the most difficult times, they are not able to stand for the truth. But the man came who, who was at the mercy of no one and said, who is on the Lord's side? Moses came and he showed a leader who knew of himself. No, I must stand for God. I must stand for him. I must stand for his will. And that is what changed the whole face and the anger of God. He made a declaration and the people came out. Some said we were for the God and those who were not for God, the Bible said he ordered those who were for God to finish them. And that was how the anger of God was turned around. But there was a leader who had to do what they wanted. Because somewhere, somehow, his inspiration was from them. Somewhere, somehow, his survival was from them. Somewhere, somehow, without them, he was nothing. But I pray that a time is coming that whoever is standing in the place of God, God will not leave you at the mercy of men. That you may stand in truth and stand in his word. And you may stand in power. I decree and declare that the time is arising and the time is now. The men of God shall stand like Samuel and say that as long as I became your judge, did I fraud anyone? So, so everyone said, you didn't fraud us. I'm talking about the people and the men of God and a generation that will stand and be bold with the people. And say the reason why I will not agree on this is because I'm not at the mercy of anyone. May we be bold as Abraham. Who will look into the king of Sodom and say, I will not take even the lace of a shoe from you. He has won the battle of four kings. That was not a joke. The treasures of four different nations were in the hands of Abraham. Then he brings it to the king of Sodom. And the king of Sodom tells him, give me the people and take the treasures. That was the day Abraham could have been the richest man on earth. He was holding the treasures of not just four kings, four nations. Every pastor would have jumped to it. Every leader would have, would have praised God that today is my breakthrough. But Abraham understood that if I take this thing from today, the king of Sodom will use me as a proverb. My God will be defamed by this. Then in that valley, he sees two kings. One king says, take the treasures and give me the people. When I saw that, I knew that God blessed Africa with such kings. Kings that will value the lives of the people above the treasures. An African leader will say, give me the treasures and leave the people. He said, give me the people and take the treasures. I pray that our pastors and our generation and our leaders will value people beyond the money in their pocket. I respect the king of Sodom so much, though his city was, was uh, full of entertainment and full of sin and all that. But that act of valuing his people over wealth, he was ready to let his people lose all their wealth so that he can keep them. And Abraham said, no. A king of Salem, which is God, has come. Let me give God his tithe. And he takes tithe of four nations. I don't know how the king of Salem, Mel Melchizedek, carried the stuff there away. But he gave tithe of four nations' treasures to Melchizedek. And then he comes back with nothing. 
And the next chapter, Genesis chapter 15 verse 1, the Bible said, after these things, after what things? When a man stood and chose God above the treasures of men. After these things. When a man stood and believed in the wealth of God than the wealth of a sinful nation. After these things. The Bible said, the Lord appeared to him and said, Abraham, fear not. Number one, I am your shield. I know you have fought nations and you fear that they will come after you because you fought them with just 318 people. I know they'll come after you, but I beg you, don't fear. I am your shield and I am your great reward. In other words, from today, I'm your currency. Everything you lost and decided not to take it, today, I give myself to you as your currency. I am your reward. That was how Abraham's prosperity began. I came to announce to somebody for the sake of truthfulness for the sake of standing strong for the sake of fighting entertainment and that which has no value to people's lives please do everything possible not to stand and be at the mercy of men because they will let you change your message when you don't want to they will make you take steps that God has never said for the fear of men. I cry out for departmental health today. And that no circumstance must you fall. At the mercy of people in the department. That they may listen to me. Head of department. Listen to me. And that no circumstance. Stand strong. Stand right. Let the right thing be done. Better fear God than to fear a man. It's better for them to live with their indiscipline than to stay with their disorder so that the, the power of God will rather depart. I'm talking about the place of people standing to fight entertainment and things that has no value. Lift up your hands and say, Lord, give me the grace to play a part in this. Give me the grace to play a part in this. Give me the grace to play a part in this. Give me the grace. Whichever department I am, whichever workplace I am in my family, give me the grace to play a part. Is that all you can do? Lift up your voice. Wherever you are falling short, to make things look like God doesn't exist. I look at a generation like this and I cry. The people we look up to and want to be like them. In their age, there was no social media. So they rose up early in the morning seeking God. But today, what do we have? I hope you enjoyed this video. And I believe that you were blessed. If um, you were blessed by this video, make sure that you click on the share button and share it to a friend. And also make sure that you like the video so that YouTube can recommend this video to other people so that they can also be blessed by the message. If you have any question, please make sure that you contact us and we'll get back to you. And also if you are watching this video and you don't know Jesus Christ, ask the Lord and personal Savior. I want you to make that decision. Just contact us in the description. Call us and let us lead you to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. And lastly, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on the, that notification bell icon. Turn it on so that when new videos are uploaded, you can be notified. Thank you so much and see you in our next video and prayer section. Bye.